Today Bible study is titled Grace Plus Nothing. Many will try to teach you that there is something more than grace that is required for a believer to somehow achieve a pleasing walk before God, something more to make you spiritual, but Paul, the apostle of grace, an apostle to the body of Christ tells us that this is simply not so, he says this in numerous instances, but below is a good example. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, teaching us that, denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. These things speak, and exhort, and rebuke with all authority, let no man despise thee, Titus 2, 11, 12, and 15. Let's look at this. Quite the contrary to what many might try to teach you, the Apostle Paul tells the body of Christ that it is God's grace that not only brings salvation to all men who will receive it, but also the same grace is teaching us. And we see in Titus to 12 that grace is teaching us how we can be denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, and grace is also teaching us that we should live soberly, righteously, and godly. Further, grace is also teaching us to do this deny and live today example in this present world. This is something that religious rules, the Mosaic law, misapplying Israel's covenants, so-called church covenants, and turning over new leaf living can never do. In fact, if we read Paul's other instruction to the body of Christ Romans through Philemon, we will learn that Christ has already accomplished everything for us and we need only believe and rest in the truth of the finished work of Christ to see grace teaching us in our moment-to-moment -moment experience. These are the things Paul says to Titus and us of which we should speak and exhort believers and rebuke anything and anyone to the contrary with all authority. Believer, live in His grace. Thank you for listening today's Bible study.